People that don't know you, like, what would you tell them is your role uh, in boxing? Yeah, I mean, I want to be on the big stage with the bigger names. Um, that's really what I'm working towards, those bigger fights, maybe in the States or even at home, having world titles um, at the Pickering Casino would be awesome. But yeah, I've been an amateur for a long time, so I'm not really, I think, wasting any time. Maybe that's why we're doing the, the four fights in a year. Because, um, you know, time is of the essence a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I feel good with it. <laughs> You're managing her career. This is her fourth professional fight. Uh, you know, where do you see her career going in the next couple of years? Like, what's the goal for her? The goal for her within the next two years is to be in the top five in the world and also to compete for a world title. The limitation with women right now, there's not a lot of women, it's not like the men where they have 2,000 competitors. They have like less than 100 women in the weight class right now. It's feasible for her to become a world champion because there's three belts out there, at least four, and uh, she can take one of those belts anytime now. So, the first female fight, mm -hmm. like, are you worried about your stamina, your conditioning, or not? No, I mean, I can do eight rounds straight now. Um, it's different in a fight, obviously, but uh, yeah, like I can do eight rounds with like two or three different uh, sparring partners. So I think if I can keep that pace, I'll be okay. And I mean, I'll just stop her in the six, so <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> you never know, crazier things have happened. It's Killer Melinda. It's not the whip. <laughs> oh, well, it is the whip too, but I call it Killer Melinda. Uh, it's, it's the pride of Pepperlock. <laughs> we got lots of nicknames. <laughs> Uh, so you just mentioned her last opponent was 13 and 1. Her opponent this time, I believe, I have it written, is 1, 3 and 1. Wouldn't, like, don't you feel like that's a drop off in terms of? Just by looking at it, like somebody is 13 and one versus somebody that's one, three and one. Melinda's only got three bouts. When you look at the, when you look at somebody that work out of five fights and only one win, it doesn't mean that's a true representation of them. It could be look at their opponent if she fought all and the fighters. So she is not. She's never been stopped. She's been distance all all five times. She had a draw, and so I think once she lost. In, in the early stage of pro boxing, uh, somebody can be 0-5 and, and be better than 0-5 fighter because it's truly just matchmaking. Mm -hmm. For this fight here, you know, we don't see this drop off. It's an opportunity to work on some things yeah. to continue to grow. So, in the early stages, the most important is your profile, winning fights, but also at the same time, you know, learning and getting better each fight. So you have a fight plan, and she's really good at following instruction. If I tell her to do something specifically, she can do it. And that's a good sign of uh, somebody that's willing to learn, but also somebody that has the confidence to do what I tell her to do.